Hello, my name's Kayla, and today I'm going to teach you about adding CBD to your Bath & Body products, things like lotions and creams and serums and balms. So a little bit about me. I am an author, a cosmetic formulator, and an aromatherapist. I co-own a company called Ology Essentials and Ology Essentials Labs. There we manufacture all kinds of CBD and non-CBD products and we white label, private label, sell bulk bases, and we have a CBD isolate and concentrate that makes it easy for you to formulate with. I'm excited to be here today on the Brambleberry channel to show you how you can use CBD in your products. So let's jump right into it. First, what is CBD? It's a chemical substance found in the cannabis plant, both the hemp and the marijuana plant. This kind of chemical is referred to as a cannabinoid. Cannabis plants produce over 85 different kinds of cannabinoids. Two of the most common known are THC and CBD. The difference between the hemp plant and the marijuana plant is the level of CBD and THC in the two of them. In the hemp plant, the CBD is really high and the THC is very low. In fact, it's 0.3% or lower. Whereas in the marijuana plant, the THC is very high and the CBD is very low. For our purposes, we are talking about CBD that comes from the hemp plant. Cannabinoids interact with our receptors in our endocannabinoid system, where we have both CB1 and CB2 receptors. These receptor cells are found throughout your entire body, including your brain, your skin cells, your hair follicles, your nervous system, they're everywhere. So why add CBD to your Bath & Body products? Hemp CBD is absorbed through the surface of the skin through topical application and interacts with nearby receptors. CBD has many different effects, but is well known for the calming and anti-inflammatory properties. Topical CBD products can be applied directly to areas of concern with lotions, creams, and more. CBD can be added to wash off products like soap and many users love the effect it gives, but in my experience, the best way to get the full benefits of hemp CBD is in a leave-on product, like balms and creams, oils and lotions. Another good option is to use CBD in bath products, like bath salts, bath balms, and other soaking products. So you wanna add CBD to your products, but you're feeling overwhelmed about how to choose the right one. There's a lot of noise in the CBD industry with one company claiming that their product is superior to another. But I say the right CBD for you is the one that you will use. Let's review three of the most popular forms of CBD that you will encounter. First up, we have full spectrum. Full spectrum means that the material has all the cannabinoids, terpenes, plant material, and chlorophyll that was in the hemp plant. When formulating with full spectrum CBD, there needs to be a fat in your formula and a hot phase. Next, we have CBD isolate. Isolate contains only the isolated material, in this case, CBD. All the other cannabinoids, terpenes, and plant materials have been removed. A CBD isolate oil already has the CBD solubilized into a carrier oil. Also, you can buy CBD crystal, which is also fat soluble and will dissolve in alcohol as well. A third less common option is broad spectrum. This means that the THC has been removed from the product, but all of the cannabinoids, terpenes, and plant material, as well as the chlorophyll that was in the plant are still intact. When sourcing CBD, look for companies that are transparent and readily share their certificate of analysis for their product. As a cosmetic formulator, I like using full spectrum for products that are gonna be used all over the body. With full spectrum, there's a theory known as the entourage effect. This is the belief that different compounds in the cannabis plant work better synergetically together. Based on customer feedback, I support this theory. In facial products, I do like to use CBD isolate because a good number of the studies that were done for skincare were related just to the CBD compound. You may run into water-soluble CBD on the marketplace. I don't commonly use it because it is less transparent what is encapsulating the CBD. The techniques that I'm using today are all true for any form of CBD that is in an oil base. 
all CBD products on the market have different concentrations, so keep that in mind when you're doing your formulating. In these demos, I'm going to be using Ology Essentials CO2 CBD Full Spectrum Concentrate. This concentrate allows makers to have access to full spectrum CBD at really high concentration levels. It is legal to ship across state lines and to be processed without any further licensing. Most likely, this will be more concentrated than what you find um, on the marketplace. Just keep that in mind as you're working on your formulas. At Ology Essentials Labs, we have a calculator for you where you can use any concentration of CBD to determine the usage level. The next trick to formulating is determining the usage level of CBD that you want in your finished product. For an all over body product, I like to keep it lower because it's going all over your body. If you're doing a more concentrated pr product that's designed to be for a specific area, then I like to go more concentrated. First, let's take a look at adding CBD to balms. When I'm talking about balms, I mean something using oils, butters, and waxes, and no water. Good examples would be a lotion bar, a balm, a lip balm, those sorts of products. Adding Ology Essentials CBD Concentrate is really easy with this sort of product because it's oil soluble. Here I'm making a simple body balm using Brambleberry's Hemp Body Balm Base. This base is already pre-mixed and perfectly formulated, so I'm just adding it to my container and I will pop it in the microwave. This is heated to about 155 degrees, which is perfect for adding the concentrate. You don't want to go above 235 degrees Fahrenheit because that's where the product can start to break down. We're measuring this in on the scale because it's very important to get the accurate weights so that you're able to figure out your concentration of CBD in your finished product. Now that I've added my CBD, I'm just going to thoroughly stir this in. I'm just going to pour this straight into my Brambleberry mold where it can thoroughly cool and be ready for use. For lip balms, the same technique applies. Just keep in mind that lip balm products tend to be itty bitty, so you need just a little bit of CBD. Next, we're going to be making a traditional emulsified lotion, which contains water. So in this, we're going to be using Brambleberry's Lotion Quick Mix. And I've already pre-melted the quick mix and heated up the distilled waters. I've determined how much CBD I want in my finished product, and I'm measuring that in. I'm adding it to the heated oil base because CBD is oil soluble and we need it to dissolve in there before we add it to the water. Just give it a quick stir. This is sitting at about 162 degrees and as you can see it's already starting to um, separate the waxes out. So I'm going to pop it in the microwave real quick, but keeping in mind that I don't want to get too hot. Now that this is heated up, we're ready to add it to the warm water. I'm getting all the extra bits out because we don't want to lose any of the CBD because it was in the oil phase. Then we're going to get our stick blender and start mixing. As you can see, it is emulsifying together and now the CBD is incorporated into the lotion base. From here, we're going to let this cool down and add our preservative. I am adding Optifin ND from Brambleberry as our preservative. This will keep our product safe and stable on the shelf. I'm going to stick blend that in and if I wanted to add any essential oils or fragrance oils, this is when I would do it as well. I'm adding this into some Brambleberry containers where I'm going to let them cool and then you would basically determine how much CBD is in here based on the size of this container. These are approximately six ounces, so I would do my math from there. Even easier way to incorporate CBD into a product is to use one of Brambleberry's finished bases. In this one, I'm using the hemp lotion. Getting a measurement for exactly what, um, how much there is in grams. 
I've heated this to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it easier to work with. It allows us to incorporate CBD. You can then put in extracts. You can put in your essential oils or fragrance oils here. And then you would just give it a quick mix with your most fine stick. All right, easy peasy. And we are ready to fill this into our container. Another great way to incorporate CBD into your product line is to create bath products. Things like bath bombs and bath soaks. And here we're going to incorporate the CBD concentrate into a bath bomb base. So here we've got a combination of citric acid and baking soda, your basic typical bath bomb mixture. And we're going to incorporate the CBD concentrate into there. It has no water in it or anything, so we're not going to have a fizzing issue. And we're just going to measure it in based on how many bath bombs we're going to get out and how many milligrams of CBD we want per bath bomb. So here we've got the CBD in and our dry mixture, and I'm going to incorporate it together using gloved hands. You could also use a stand mixer. All right, so now that that's all mixed in, I'm going to use witch hazel to get it to a moldable texture, just like you would do if you were making your traditional bath bomb. So next you would just take your mixture and put it into your mold and press it in. It's always nice to do it over the container so you can press everything, let everything fall in. If you weren't making a bath bomb, you're just making a bath salt or a bath soak, you would do the same exact steps that I did earlier where you just mix the CBD concentrate into your base. I love incorporating CBD into bath products because it makes for the most amazing bath experience. Now you have an amazing CBD product and you want to sell it. There's a few things to consider. In the United States, topical use of hemp CBD firmly falls into the cosmetic section of the FDA. This means yes, it is legal to sell your CBD product as a cosmetic product. But what does this mean? This means you can't make claims that will make it fall into the drug category of the FDA. Some examples of what would convert your product from a cosmetic to a drug are calling a product a pain product, saying that it cures eczema, saying that it treats acne, things like that that change the body. You would be allowed to say that your product is a moisturizing lotion, but not a pain lotion. The FTC also has a say on claims, so make sure that you are aware of the rules of regulating bodies in whatever country you do business in. While your hemp CBD product may be the be all and end all of natural cures, you simply cannot make that claim because your intended use claims convert your product from a cosmetic to a drug. With hemp CBD products, you will want to add a new section to your front label that displays the milligrams per milliliter of the finished product. I highly recommend a QR code on the package that allows customers to review the certificate of analysis of the product. Full transparency gives customers more faith in your product in this industry. I hope this video gave you some confidence to use hemp CBD in your Bath & Beauty product formulas. I want to thank Brambleberry for having me in their studios to show you how to incorporate hemp CBD into your product lines. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and be sure to continue learning from the experts from Brambleberry.